cocaine. Workers paid in drink and drugs. I know one can. They just get a guy to ten dollar rock, ten dollars in a pint of wine. That's payment. They call them canned hunts. You know, all you have to have is the money and they'll make sure you kill whatever it is you want. Shooting tame big cats for trophies. As much as these people fantasize that it's Africa or Asia, this is deep in the heart of Texas. Good evening, I'm Tom Brokaw, and this is a new season for Expose. Tonight, two shocking undercover stories. I'll be with wildlife officers who are trying to put a stop to a new kind of trophy hunting, hunting that often involves the illegal killing of endangered animals. And we'll join the peach harvest for an updated chapter of the Harvest of Shame. When we come back, you'll meet a tiny 70-year-old nun who's trying to protect the migrant workers. Only, this is not the African belt. It's the Texas Hill Country. Wildlife photographers come here, and so do hunters. Not all the hunting is legal. What you're watching is illegal. I, I, I wouldn't go any further than that. That's a Bengal tiger in the shade. The Bengal tiger is an endangered species. This big cat is almost tame, most likely sold off as surplus by a zoo or circus or a game farm. A tame trophy for a kill fee of three to five thousand dollars. This type of hunt, we call them can hunts. It just simply means that you've got a guaranteed hunt. You go out there and, and uh, all you have to have is the money and they'll make sure you kill whatever it is you want. Three thousand. Fish and wildlife agent, but, Jim Steinbaugh. The business of taking something in a cage and turning it loose in front of a hunter, I don't see why anyone would think that's something that should be allowed, even if it wasn't an endangered species. The shooter is Dr. Sonny Milstead, an orthopedic surgeon from Shreveport, Louisiana. He had a big day. Not only did he kill the tiger, a federal crime. Sonny, if you want to, just go straight to my right, up on the high terrace where you get a broadside shot at him. Just remember where the truck is. He took a pickup ride and, protected by backup shooters, dispatched a lion. Right in the shoulder. This lion killing was shocking, but perfectly legal because lions are not on the endangered list. Some kind of cat. You like him? Yeah, sure do. The Fun for Animals obtained this videotape and turned it over to Exposé and wildlife agents. Wayne Passell is the Fun's national director. Um, these canned hunts and the shooting preserves are generally characterized by people of, of uh, substantial economic means. It's not the price that's the problem, it's the time, and this person probably has a busy schedule. But again, these are tame animals. This isn't the wild. As much as these people fantasize that it's Africa or Asia, this is deep in the heart of Texas. Dr. Milstead. Dr. Milstead, it turns out, hunts in Africa as well as in Texas. Expose producer Bob Gilmartin caught up with him at the airport in Shreveport, Louisiana. The doctor had just returned from a month-long safari. Did you know that it was an endangered species, the Bengal tiger? My attorney just told me to say no comment. But you had a Bengal tiger in your home, a stuffed Bengal tiger, in your mother-in-law's home. It was my understanding when that was taken that it was legal. That's all I can say. If charged and convicted, Milstead could face five years in jail for shooting the tiger and transporting the stuffed trophy across state lines. If the lion and tiger hunts were hard to understand, this is home video of a Texas hunt that set a standard for cruelty. An endangered black leopard is the prey, Agent Steinbaugh. And when they turned the cat out, the cat never had a chance from, from the start never had a chance. It had been declawed. The only thing the hunter had to worry about was shooting the pack of dogs. These are some of the most beautiful animals in the world, and we keep them in captivity, and they should, surely shouldn't be shot down uh, amongst a pack of dogs somewhere. It's just purity slaughter of a defenseless animal when you do something like that. 
no hunter would look at that and, and think that was good. I'm amazed that they took a video of that. The video was a big mistake for the trophy hunter and for guy Jim Moody. They pled guilty to killing an endangered animal. Mr. Moody? Moody was sentenced to six months in federal prison. He talked to Expose the day he entered his plea. Every hunter I talked to avoids what happened out there. Yeah, I, I've never released an animal. This is a, the first time I've, I've ever done that, okay? I did it because we don't have, I don't have any uh, body leopards on my ranch, okay? Um, but I guess you did it for money, too. Aren't you standing out here asking me questions, making money, ma'am? But I'm not breaking the law. <laughs> no, I didn't know I was either. Here in the picturesque ranching country of Central California, there was a canned hunt operation that received a lot of attention. A local couple on hard times economically brought in hunters to shoot caged tigers and panthers and leopards. The couple got in a lot of trouble, but I still don't understand what all the fuss is about. Come by. Lester Patterson's family has worked this land for 118 years. They were hurting from the grain embargo and a nagging drought when they got the idea to turn part of their 3,000-acre spread into a hunting operation. It was all legal until the summer of 1990, when nine endangered animals were offered for hunts. Patterson got arrested. When you were involved in it, though, Lester, did you know that you were doing something wrong? No, because I thought, well, you know, they are endangered species. I was thinking about that. So I called a guy, the taxidermist in L.A., that gets these animals out of a zoo and mounts them, and he said, no, it's perfectly legal. You think that most of the people that you saw when you got in trouble <laughs> were people who wanted a trophy, some kind of a wall? Well, these type of hunts that you're talking about, they're not really hunts. These are people that just wanted them. They didn't care if they bought them in a zoo or killed them here in a pen or wherever. They want these with a trophy room. Patterson paid about $1,700 for the big cats, charging 3500 to hunt them. Some of the animals never made it out of their cages. They were shot right there. This uh, animal obviously was hit at close range and not even a very clean shot. It looks like it was shot through the shoulder in some fashion. Fish and Wildlife agent Bill Talken confiscated well, um, the trophies. Um, say this Bengal tiger, in the past we've seen just the height alone going on the black market for uh, up to fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. A big money business, a big money demand, and a supply if the price is right. Oklahoma. This is called the Texoma Hunting Wilderness. Wild animals in filthy cages. A cougar with a bloody eye. There he is. A bear cramped up in a box so long it can hardly walk. On a lot of these bears and cats, the great majority of them were sold to me because they were old and they were no longer of a breeding age. James Bartholomew owned the Texoma Ranch. He got six months in jail for cruelty to animals. A lot of these animals had poor teeth in them. Some of them were a little thin. Um, it, it was to the point that the breeder who owned them should have actually performed euthanasia on the animal. But there was still a market to sell the animal. And I bought them. There was a market because there were people eager to shoot, people eager to pay to shoot. Bartholomew bought some animals from Arbuckle Wilderness, an Oklahoma game park where tame animals eat right out of your hand. He also purchased two brown bears from the Lolly Brothers auction in Macon, Missouri. I was approached by the auctioneer that they could be, that I could hunt them legally as European brown bears. In fact, they were endangered American brown bears and the Lolly Brothers could face charges. The animals for trophies business is nasty and cruel. Wildlife agent Alex Hazacek has tracked down canned hunts with Jim Steinbaugh. Again, the bottom line in all of these immaterial is going to be the mighty buck. The commercialization, illegal commercialization of wildlife. It's an endangered species, and like a guy told us when we were serving a search warrant in Austin a while back, you can't get them at Kmart. It is a business with many layers. That black leopard in the cage was traced to the Raz Wildlife Auctions in Texas. Yeah, they ain't got the full stripe on them. But Marvin Raz says he didn't and, uh, sell it. He says all kinds of people with all kinds of animals come to his auction to do all kinds of business. The cat was not run through my auction ring. 
It was sold outside in the parking lot. Agent Steinboss still is not sure about Raz's story. He does know all about the parking lot business and the market for exotic animals. It is wide open, despite the efforts of wildlife agents and conservationists. As long as someone is willing to be involved in something as despicable as killing a cat in a cage, somebody out there will find a cat for him to kill. And it's not hard. We could find one this morning. Just get on the telephone and 30, 40 minutes, we'd make arrangements to buy a cat somewhere. Not too long ago, the nation's major zoos did get together and agreed not to allow surplus animals to be sold to brokers and auctions that in turn sell to hunting ranches. 